Good afternoon everyone, Wicked Ninja Games coming at you with another video. This wants to showcase our new custom event server. We have raidable bases on there, we've got world bosses, all intended for the player who's done it all before and wants some new challenges. So without further ado, let's jump in and take a look. As you drop in on our event server, you'll be greeted with a platform with three portals. Hi guys. The first one on the left goes to our raidable bases room. Where you can access all the bases. The Hall of Records is aimed at saying thank you to all our wonderful supporters. Without you guys, we couldn't make any of this possible. We are truly blessed with an awesome community. Let's hop into the boss arenas. As we hit the other side, we see a wonderful portal room built by our very own Lady Tula. It truly is really stunning. Let's have a look at the Domination Rex Arena first. Domination Rex is a pinnacle boss killing machine on this cluster and are obtainable at level 155 by crafting. Whoa boy! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Gets me every time. Killing this is going to net you a survivor trophy, 50k experience, 4k shot points, a cloning chamber engram unlock, tech claws engram unlock, and of course the Domination Rex saddle upgrades. make our way to the Savage Acros. This one takes place in the grasslands and it's going to net you some high level R conditions, saddles, skins and chibis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that's Snake Hips. Give it a break. Let's hop on back through. Let's go and take a look at where the Magnosaur resides, also the uh, Lava Elemental. Really beautiful. This one obviously in the volcanic region, naturally. And let's, let's meet our resident Magnosaur. Where are you? There he is, what a good boy. These will drop the volcanic and snow domination red skins. Stamina and health mutation consumables for dummies too. We're going to make our way back to the portal. Whoop. Now my personal favourite. Let's go meet the crab. I really do like this room. This room looks amazing. Off to the wetlands and we're going to meet Mr. Krabby. Where is he? There he is. Good lad. Hand raised that crab from a baby. Awesome. Krabby is going to net you the Bog Domination Rex skin. Uh, also the melee upgrade for the Domination Rex. A random chibi and some cool other stuff. Halloween and Ark is a firm favourite, and with the arrival of ASA they discontinued the events. So this, this allows us to do something specially cheer. Oh, here's a group now. Let's have a sneaky peek at the Fear Arena. We use this uh, to host all of the uh, Halloween events. Yep, you're going to go back to this point, you're going down. Hello Mr. Dodo Rex, obviously one of the participants in the arena here. We've also got the Dodo Wyvern, and we also host some custom events sometimes. Let's make our way back through the exit. This will take us back to the uh, main area. From here we're going to take a look at the raidable bases area. Let's hop in. Again, our building here, decor, our own very own Lady Tula. Awesome job as usual. All bases we're going to see today were lovingly crafted by the devious and ingenious mind of our very own Nugget Hunter. It looks like he wants us to go in this direction. Thank you, Nugget. Let's hop on through and have a look at the tech barn. No signs of life here. It's uh, definitely an unused barn, alien in origin. Can you hear the scratching noises from inside? I hate to think what's going on in there. Survivors? Anyone help? There's two sections to the uh, raidable bases, one is for groups, one is for solo, and each one is designated three different level brackets. Recommended to run the right level bracket to get the right loot. The level of detail that Lady Tula puts into all this stuff is what makes the event server so special. 
The beacon's a very small building that we believe might be used for communications. It's set quite high up on the hill, gets a nice vantage point of the area. Break in, see if you can see what they've been listening to, grab any supplies, get the hell out. Fun fact, a lot of these bases have undergone many name changes and design changes. The paddock used to be Desert Base. I think it's better as the paddock. Ah, the paddock. This building is a behemoth. It's fortified to its gills. Talk about Fort Knox. This is one behemoth of a building. Obviously designed to keep somebody out, maybe? Or possibly something in? High alert survivors. Fun fact number two, the laboratory was indeed our first built base. This one's been lovingly designed by Scott and will be available soon. This will be dropping all of our new custom weapons such as the tranquilizing sniper rifle, flamethrower and gatling gun. Your next assignment survivors is going to be the lab. There's been some highly dubious things going on in here. Genetic experiments, life form readings off the chart, nothing gets out alive. Get in there, take it out and reap the rewards. There's got to be some really cool tech in there. Bring it home. so easy to get lost in here just looking around, it's cool, really good job. We call this one the implant casino, tech readings are measuring off the charts, we don't know what's going off in there, but we suspect they may be messing around with implant technology, tech, all sorts of crazy stuff, get in there, shut it down. Anyone else getting an uneasy feeling about this one? Is it just me? Well, it just keeps getting better and better, doesn't it? The Nuke, a nuclear launch site. It looks like it's inoperable, hasn't been maintained in some time. Probably got radiation leaks all over the place. Feels totally safe, right? Get in there, get what you can out of there, kill anything inside, nothing toxic comes back. Designation Greenhouse. It's a large glass building. It looks like it was designed to catch the light. Crop growth maybe. Boosting crop production. But to feed what? What exactly are they doing out here? Smash your top survivors. Get in there. Kill anything alive. Let's get home safe. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the tour. We're going to hop back through. Go back to the main area. Chill out. Take in the beach. So from everyone here at Wicked Ninja Games, we wish you a good day. If you enjoyed the video, please drop us a like or a subscribe. It all really helps. Thank you.